Kigali has been the center of the fiercest fighting in the civil war. The United Nations has been able to do very little to help these people. As a Rwandan and an anti-genocide activist who lost many members of my family to genocide, I could not think of a better project to be part of than one that shows how all of us can make a difference. My father was a young diplomat in 1943. My father was told to stop giving these passports and helping the Jewish community escape the island. German planes. My mother was thrown to the ground and she died the following Saturday. Dukvit, a member of the Nazi party, had by his efforts organized the rescue of 7,200 people. An amazing feat of goodness from someone who had been trained in the art of evil. I feel so peculiar standing here with you because you're alive. It is terrible that so many people had to die where 600,000 Jews lived before and at the end of the war, 90,000 has left to live. You don't connect these bureaucratic actions to the actual saving of a life. Yeah. Not but when you see you, though. <laughs> what would you say to Frank Foley today if you met him? Thank you for saving our lives. Thank you. When you reflect on the diplomats, the phrase, the mystery of goodness, is it a mystery or do you think goodness is actually a deep-seated human virtue which emerges? I know there can be hope. I've learned that when we see crimes against humanity, we cannot turn the other way. Instead, we must transform our fears into courage to take action. <laughs>